Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and today we're going to be looking at trigonometric ratios for special angles 30 degrees and 60 degrees Now for the special angles 30 degrees and 60 degrees we will have a equilateral triangle Let's say that's an equilateral triangle with the side 2, 2 and 2 Then we decide to have in an equilateral triangle we know it is equal angles and equal sides now we split our equilateral triangle into half and when we split it in half the side will be equal to one and the side will be equal to one since it was equal to two then in that way you will have formed a right angle triangle either on the right side or on the left side so i'll go with the left side that is looking like this but before that when we split 60 degrees we form 30 degrees here and 30 degrees because we're splitting everything into half now this means that we're going to be having what right angle triangle with 2 1 60 and the 30 here now the unknown side will be what the opposite side but how do you calculate an unknown side in a right angle triangle to calculate that side we need x squared plus y squared which is equals to r squared and we know that y squared is equals to r squared minus x squared y is equals to the square root of r squared minus x squared which is equals to um, 2 squared minus 1 squared, which is equals to the square root of 4 minus 1, which is equals to the square root of 3. But note that you always need to say plus or minus once you apply the square root. Okay, now the answer we get here is square root of 3 or square root of 3, such that when we want to define the trick ratio sine of 60 i always tell my learners that we use um first sokatoa to define trick ratios so which is opposite over hypotenuse now if you are writing this down you will have to take or tilt your paper to face you in such a direction that the angle 60 is facing you and you see that the opposite side is your root of three all over 2 and cos of 60 you look at the adjacent side when 60 is pointing at you because it's adjacent over the hypotenuse which is equal to 1 over 2 then tan of 60 will be opposite over adjacent which is equal to square root of 3 over 1 which is equal to the square root of 3 now what about 30 now you will if you are writing this down in a paper take your paper tilt it such that 30 now faces you and you or you can rewrite this right angle triangle such that 30 is in the position of 60 and 60 is in the position position of 30 and in that way you'll be able to point 30 towards you but since i am writing in the screen here looking from the top here from the top here from the top here if we look from the top our opposite side from the top is one so starting again with sine 30 degrees which is the opposite of a hypotenuse is equal to the opposite side is 1 over 2 and cos 30 degrees which is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse is equal to root of 3 over 2 then lastly we look at tan of 30 degrees will be equal to opposite over adjacent and when you are at 30 the opposite side is 1 and the adjacent side is what 
groups of three. So that will be it for today. One over root of three. And we don't leave this as I said. We have to rationalize it. Then it becomes root of three over three. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our videos and share with the relevant um, learners. Thank you.